Furiosa, a Mad Max saga, was directed by George Miller and stars Anya Taylor-Joy and Chris Hemsworth and is the prequel to Mad Max Fury Road, one of the greatest action films of all time. This is the origin story of renegade warrior Furiosa before her encounter and team up with Mad Max. Now I will admit, I have not seen the original three Mad Max films, it just didn't work out with my timing, but I was able to watch Mad Max Fury Road before seeing this one, and of course, like everybody else in the world, I loved it. I think it's one of the greatest action films of all time, so my expectations going into this one were decently high, and I am so happy that this film delivered. This is one of the best prequels I've ever seen. Anya Taylor-Joy takes over as Furiosa in this film, and I could not think of a better person to do it. Obviously, she is one of my favorite actors, probably of all time but especially of the past 10 years or so that she's been doing movies. She just hit after hit after hit after hit, and Furiosa checks off the action film from her list. Chris Hemsworth is the villain in this film, and honestly, this might be the best performance of his career. I, of course, love him as Thor. He's great in all the Thor movies, even if not all the Thor movies are great. He's still good in them, but this role really takes all the best parts of Chris Hemsworth, the funny parts, the, the charisma parts, the, the kind of you know, tough, evil parts of him and throws it all into this character and it totally works. This is probably one of the best villains I've seen in the past few years. One of my favorite things about this film is that it really dives into these characters, whereas Fury Road was more focused on the action and the visual look, which perfectly works for that film. Furiosa is more focused on these characters and this world and building it and building the connections between them and showing the reasons why everything that happened in Mad Max Fury Road happened here while still telling a compelling story that doesn't just feel like you're catching up. We see some familiar faces come back from Fury Road and I love seeing them here, but honestly, Anya Taylor-Joy was just so fantastic as Furiosa. She had everything down from the voice, the way she moves, everything like that, and she acts so much with her eyes. That's something that Tom Hardy does so well. You know, you see it in Dark Knight Rises and Dunkirk and Mad Max Fury Road. Now we have Anya Taylor-Joy, who also acts so well and demands your attention with her eyes and just the way she phrases stuff. Uh, sounds very similar to Charlize Theron, which of course is what she's going for, but still is a unique performance in and of itself. The the visuals of this film are incredible. I think there's a bit too much CGI. There's a few shots where I'm like, oh yeah, that 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 doesn't look real exactly, but most of the time it's just used to expand on this world and it works in that way. The costume design and makeup is out of this world. I had people walking around the theater in all these costumes with, you know, the black paint and the goggles and whatever, steering wheels and all stuff like that, and it was just such a fun atmosphere to be in for a film like this. And the sound design once again is next to none. The way they incorporate roaring engines with people smashing through buildings and all fire and all that shit, it works so well in this film. Once again, there's one action sequence in particular that really has stuck with me. There's a bunch of great ones in this film, but there's one about halfway through the film. You'll know the one when you see it, and it's honestly one of my favorites of the past few years. Sitting at almost two and a half hours, I do think the film is a bit too long. The first act is a little bit slower. I was wondering when it was going to pick up a little bit, but at the same time, at the end of the film, I'm like, okay, I understand why they took so long in some of these scenes, because it really does build up these characters. I think for the odd person out there who didn't like Fury Road, you will really love Furiosa, because the main complaint I've seen, which I don't agree with, but the complaint I've seen other people post about Fury Road is that there's no character depth, whereas this film is way more focused on the characters and the action, which worked so well as a prequel. As I said, this is one of the greatest prequels ever. It perfectly sets up Mad Max Fury Road, it makes that film somehow even better, which I thought was impossible to do. Furiosa is an explosive prequel that not only delivers with insane balls-to-the-wall action sequences, but also a vengeful story that expands on George Miller's incredible world. Anya Taylor-Joy's gritty and rage-filled performance proves why she's one of the best in the business, while Chris Hemsworth's villainous role might be the highlight of his career. The exceptional stunts, score, and sound design make this one of the best films of the year. I'm gonna give Furiosa a Mad Max Saga, a 4 out of 5. I highly recommend seeing this film on the biggest screen possible with the loudest sound because it's something you won't want to miss in theaters. As someone who was too young to see Mad Max Fury Road when it came out, this is kind of the next best thing that we're going to get. And if you've already seen Furiosa, let me know what your thoughts on it are down below. Are you excited for it? What is your favorite Mad Max movie? Or rank them all if you've seen them. Thank you all for watching. I will see you guys next time. Over and out.